Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm JSCar, and today I've got something very, very special and very requested. Because as you can see from the title, I'm gonna talk about the most important thing in mixes. This is the most crucial aspect that you need to really work on to achieve a great mix down. I'm telling you, there's actually nothing more important than this. Whether you want to say compression is the most important thing, whether you want to say EQ is the most important thing, those are not even close as how important doing what I'm about to show you is. And what I'm about to show you is actually leveling. Some people like to call it differently, but just to make it simple, leveling is basically controlling the volume of each different track in your mix. Simple, right? It sounds simple, but is it simple? And how can you understand it better? Well, we're gonna figure it out in this video. The goal of this is to make sure that your mix has balance. Cause like everything else in life, we need balance. Balance is everything. So we have to figure out a way to make sure that a sound just don't pop out of nowhere, super loud, destroys your ears, just because you didn't balance it correctly, just because you didn't use the right levels. That's the whole idea behind it. I found myself listening to music before where one of the instruments is just extremely loud that I just can't listen to the song because it's just not letting me listen to the whole idea because it just feels like two different songs. So we got to work on our leveling so we can find that balance. I actually consider leveling the first step on mixing. Most of the times when I start making my mixes, that's the first thing I do. Leveling is the first thing I do, even before adding EQ, even before adding compression, even before adding sidechain. All those things help, but if you don't have the right leveling, again, your mixes will be really bad. <laughs> so you might be wondering, how do we do this, Jay? How do we find the right balance? How do we apply leveling correctly? Well. There's actually a very famous technique that is called leveling by height. And what that means is that you should start leveling by what's the tallest thing in your mixer channel. So all you have to do before start leveling is understanding what's the core of your song. Most of the times, if you're making electronic music, the most important aspects in your songs are going to be your kick and your bass. So all you have to do once you understand what your core is, go ahead and work around those aspects, those elements. I cannot tell you which sounds are going to be the core of your of your music, because that's up to you. If you're making pop, it might be the vocals. If you're making electronic music, it might be the kick. If you're making rock, it might be the guitars. Who, who knows? You know, it just depends on what you're doing. All you have to do is pay attention to it and see what you want to have the tallest. You have to pay attention to what you want to have at the top, what you want to be, again, the focus of your song, the core of your song. Once we get that, that clear, we're good to start off with the tutorial. All right. So just to show you guys real quick how I would normally do my leveling, I have a project here, which uh, it's a song I haven't released yet, but I figured it was good as an example, so I don't have to make something up just for the tutorial. Everything is already mixed, but I've put all the volumes down so we can do the leveling again. Um, I have a kick, which is obviously the core of this song. I know that I want this to be the core and it sounds like this. That's it. It's just a kick. What normally some people do is make every single track minus six decibels. You can read it here. It's minus six decibels. And once you're at minus six decibels, you can start your whole mix, right? And use minus six decibels as the starting point, let's say. But in this case, I'm just gonna leave the kick as it is, just as max volume normalized at zero, all right? We're actually gonna be mixing every single element that is um, red. I actually just put everything on red, which is gonna be a kick, claps, more claps, some noises, um, a bass line, chords, and a synth. Now, I have my kick at zero, and what I would normally do is put everything else at infinity, at minus infinity, and we're basically gonna be bringing up the volume of each sound from there till we find the right balance. The way you can understand how, how loud some of your sounds should be depends on your genre. So go ahead and listen to the most famous, the best mixed songs out there that are in your genre and 
pay close attention to them and understand how loud the claps sound using the kick as a reference, how loud the basses sound using, again, the kick as a reference, so you can understand what balance they're playing with. So you can apply that to your own music. Honestly, for anything, if you study everyone else's music, you're gonna get better. So let's start off with the clap um, and let's see where the clap sounds good at. Over here sounds good, but I would like to give it some more body. That sounds pretty okay to me. Now let's implement the second clap. I have another clap. This is basically a uh, reverb clap, so we can just put it a little bit. So far, so good. But how do you know that you're mixing it correctly and that you're staying in balance? Because I know some of you might still be breaking your heads. Well, by putting the output volume as slow as you can and pay attention to see if your main sound is still the most noticeable. In this case, it would be my kick. So let's make this a little bit smaller so we can go into FL Studio and put the volume as slow as we, as slow as we can and then let's play everything and see if the kick is the main sound, it's still the main sound. That is super low in volume, but I can still hear the bass, which means we're good. All right, let's just keep on moving. Let's keep on adding more elements. Um, you can do this as many times as you can, and you can even mix the whole song in really low volume. A lot of people do this, so then the mix doesn't lie to you. All right, now we can move on to the next sound. This is another clap, but it's just, this is a clap that I added just to add some more space. So let's listen to it. I like it around there. Now let's add the, another clap that I have to do basically the same thing. It just has more space. We can add it around there. Again, you can go back, put all the volume as slow as you can and check if the main sound is still your core, your core sound. In this case, the kick. Since this is an effects, so it's basically white noise, I'm gonna add it at the end. Now, what's the second core? I need, to, I need to really think. What's the second main sound of my song? In this case, I think the second main sound is the bass. So now we are at the bass. Actually, in this song, in this this is just a different example. Everyone's gonna have a different thing. Um, I have a sub, a mid bass, and a high bass, basically. So let's play this one and see where we can find the right balance of having the kick and the sub as the main sounds. This is again up to taste and I know my computer is, is crashed, it's basically crying, but that's because I have a lot of stuff opened. <laughs> so, and when I record, it just kills everything. But yeah, around here sounds fine to me. That's good. Let's now add the second bass. That sounds good. Yeah, good enough for me. Now we can add the third one. Something like that sounds fine. That's good. So, so far, so good. Now we have drums and a bass, and it sounds like this. Notice that Yes, they do have sidechain already, but if you can do the leveling before adding any EQ, any sidechain, any anything, you will get a better result. I'm telling you, you will get a better result. And obviously I'm doing this as fast as I can, but you, sh you should spend a little bit more time than I'm doing, right? Next and almost last thing on my on this example, we have some chord. Um, it is another layer, but what I'm gonna do is just move the group volume. So 
So I don't have to go through every single layer, right? Because I would spend more time here. So let's play the chords and make sure that it goes well with everything else. So, so we make sure that it doesn't kill everything again. So let's play it. So let's play it again. Let's just leave it around here. So far around there, it sounds good to me. So now let's move on to one of the last things, which is the synths or the leads. Um, this is again, one of the main sounds. Like I've said, I tend to see electronic music as kick, bass and leads. So this is the last thing. We gotta make sure that it has body, but we, got, we also have to make sure that it doesn't need everything else completely. So let's play it. Obviously, as you can see here, every single layer has been, I've, I've leveled every single layer already, but at the end of the day, every single layer is gonna end up being one sound. So here I am just showing you how I would normally go with the volume. So around there, it's fine. Around there, it's fine. Now it sounds like this. The whole mix sounds like this. After that, we can add the actual effects that I had here. So a noise thing, um, let's put it up. Not so high. Around there. That's fine. And then we can add this. I don't know what it is. Yeah, this is just an extra layer. So we can put it like around here. Now we play everything together and it sounds like this. Um, we can go back to FL Studio and put all the volume down, but remember, not completely, just a little bit, and see if the main sounds are still noticeable. So let's listen to it. I can hear the kick. I can hear the bass. And I can hear the lead. Everything as clear as they should. To me, this sounds good. I would I would release a song like this. Like I've said, you gotta really spend some time listening to this. Not knowing how to correctly do leveling is gonna complicate, it's gonna overcomplicate your producer work. If you're trying to fix the volume of two different sounds with EQ, you're gonna ruin your life because you're gonna overcomplicate something that should be easy to do or not so complicated. So again, spend time. You can't do this in one minute or five minutes like I just did. You have to take your time and one decibel can really change everything. So be surgical when doing this. Do it slightly and pay close attention to it. Another thing that I would suggest you is take some time off. Another thing that I would suggest you when doing this is exporting everything from your song and redoing the leveling again. Because you sometimes just get so used to how your mix normally sounds that you can't really notice when there's a problem. So having a new project that sounds clean will help you out. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. This was leveling and this was the most important thing in mixing. Again, don't sleep on this. Make leveling is the most important thing. It really is. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Let me know what you would like me to make for future videos. Let me know if you guys like the song I used as an example. I'm down to release it anytime as a free download. I haven't released anything as free download since a while, so this could be a good one. Please make sure to hit that like button. It will really help the algorithm. Make sure to share this with your producer friends if you found this valuable. Yeah, if you want to connect with me, all my socials are JSCAR. Instagram is JSCAR. If you're not following me there, you're never going to achieve a good leveling. So go follow me on Instagram right now. And that was it. Hope all of you have a great, great, great day. I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye-bye.